RC Command leads the way. Nick here with the Bomber Bouncer reveal. We're going to get into the tech stuff here. Uh, the chassis is an axial bomber chassis that we got from DG Motorsports. The front axle is an RCC80. We're using incision steering links, uh, SSD suspension links, and MIP shafts. Uh, we are using RRD rock crawler shocks uh, with RC run bypasses and hot racing limiting straps. Uh, up front, steering is taken care of by a Savux uh, uh, big torque servo, their, their mega torque servo. Um, we've had absolutely zero problems with it. Uh, we are run, running uh, Proline stickies. These are not the XL versions. We tried to go with the smaller uh, smaller sticky this time just to uh, just to try something different. Uh, I'm not, not sure if we're going to stick with that uh, decision for now, but we are running uh, bottoms up wheels from 949 Designs. In the back, uh, uh, in the back, we're running uh, an, uh, Vanquish Products F9. We're running the 38, 13 gears all the way around with incision spools. Um, we did a little something different. We went with the DMG Death Metal Garage uh, Wraith uh, trans plate, so that allowed us to use our Wraith transmission in a bomber. Uh, we're using Mamba a Mamba X with 3800 kV motor uh, and B-Link and uh, it seems to be holding up pretty good. We had our first race um, last weekend here uh, uh, December 9th and uh, we came in fourth. Um, didn't, uh, didn't particularly do anything spectacular here. Uh, we literally finished bolting this thing together uh, Saturday, Sunday morning, the race was Sunday afternoon, we literally bolted it together Sunday uh, morning and went to the hill, so what you're seeing here, this action is uh, literally with no seat time, no test and tune, uh, we loaded in um, parameters from our Spartan buggy, uh, so it had a pretty good burn in it already um, but again not something that was tuned for the weight of this rig and the suspension that we're running and stuff like that so we got some bugs to work out here but uh, we feel pretty confident by January 9th uh, which is the next uh, race January 6th I'm sorry um, we, we should uh, should be in pretty good shape just so y'all know here we built this bomber uh, bomber bouncer is what we're calling it uh, we built it to to kind of prove a point here and and uh, with uh, all receipts in hand we spent just under 500 bucks so um, and that's that's a pretty trick buggy right there uh, a lot of hop-up parts that you're not going to find in the kit a lot of parts you're not going to find from a from a brand new out of the box, so we we did end up using a lot of used parts, but we spent our money in the right places um, by you know new new gears, new lockers, all all new stuff that was uh, spinning, you know rotational stuff, all brand new there. But we reused uh, you know a, a chassis, we reused uh, um, axle housings. You know, and, and just tried to try to build a buggy that everybody can run. And, and honestly, at this first race here, this was just a grassroots style race um, that we put together. There were more bounce, more bombers than there were actual bouncers. I think the low life buggy was the only purpose built chassis that was there. Um, everything else was a bomber. So uh, these chassis could be could be had for fairly cheap um, and you can you don't have to use RCC 80s you don't have to use F9 axles you can use all you know axial racing plastic housings and stuff like that but just put your money in the right places and that's what we wanted to prove with this build so um, if you have any questions please hit us up in the comments below uh, follow us on Facebook please join the uh, the uh, RC Rock Bouncing group 
and hit us up on Instagram too if you have Instagram but uh, we do look forward to hearing from you. Uh, we do appreciate all our all, uh, the support from our sponsors. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the hill. RC Command leads the way. That.